get them to follow it up. A lot of times they like to follow it up. And then you'll kind of feel them while you're raising it up. And the there he is. Got yeah. him that time. First Oklahoma crappie right there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in Oklahoma with Grand Lake guy here, and we're going to be fishing on Grand Lake. Uh, he's going to be walking through different tips and tactics that he uses in Oklahoma. I'm going to walk through what I kind of use in Wisconsin and hopefully uh, put him in the boat. Yep, we're so, going to go catch him today. It's going to be fun. Water's super flooded right now. Like it is. It's the, way up. The water is, is really high. This is the highest it's been, and it, it's actually higher than it's been, and it's, it's stayed this way. It's been high. It's been this high before, but it's never been this high for this long. So right now, it, it creates a lot of fun fishing experiences. The fish are really scattered, but uh, we know where they're at. We're going to go catch them. It's, it's going to be a fun day. Let's get to it. All right. All right, well, we're going to set up and try this, uh, what is this, floating levee type of thing? Is that what you call it? Wave break. Wave break. Wave break. We're gonna set up and try live scoping this, and we'll see uh, see if we can put some fish in the boat see what for we you. Get. Well, we uh, tried some marinas. We tried this marina right off the wave blocker thing, and he missed one one crappie. But we're gonna try a new spot because this isn't working out. So, because the river was so flooded, we actually tried fishing some really chocolate milk water. Um, we found a few on the sonar with the live scope underneath some uh, some trees here. That didn't work out. Unfortunately, we ended up going to a different marina, trying a few other docks. There were fish down there, just couldn't get them to bite. But there weren't huge schools on these locations. Uh, these locations are normally uh, Paul's kind of guide trip locations during the summertime when the water is actually normal levels. But because the water was so flooded, we actually ran upstream uh, to a clearer part of the water and to this flooded highway. And so we actually what I've been got on some fish with the live scope. It's it pretty good, though. like dock shoes. Look at all that. Yeah, you could. It's it's been raising higher and higher. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's right there. Stacked up. Yeah. It's a white bass. White bass. Yeah. Hybrid. Fight like crazy though. Yeah. We've been. Uh, Did it taste good? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You want them? Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll bring them back. Right there. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> and they're gonna hit it. It's just oh. how do you set the hooks? <laughs> there go. I think it's a white bass. It's not a crappie. Yeah, he's fighting too much, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> That's a decent white bass too if it, yeah. if it comes up. That's a hybrid. Oh yeah, hybrid. A catfish. You gotta be God kidding dang me. it. I hate these. Me. First one's a catfish. All right. You have got to be kidding me. That's a channel cat, too. That's hilarious. I'll try not to get in your boat. I'm telling you, man, they are all schooling together. All these fish with the water coming up, they're yep. all together. We're catching like a little of everything. Good one too. Ten and a half. Yep. I'm gonna guess ten and a half. Yep. First crappie of the day. First crappie. You got a little wounded. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not a huge one, but staring at it. So notice the jigging tactic that uh, oh, Paul is using. He's actually raising it up as he starts seeing fish on the sonar. Now, having live scope actually helps you see how fish react to your jig, but this cadence produced very well for him. And so I didn't pick it, it up until I, well, that until about three fish. fish in. There's a crappie. We're down there. On the jig, too. On the jig. Look at that, guys. Nice green leg -like slab. Mm -hmm. You gotta try that tactic. No. Oh, fucking drum. God. Sheep's I head. Fucking when I catch him. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
I've missed like 16 bites already. So as you can see, we're fishing right next to this flooded highway bridge system. And normally this water level is low enough that you can actually get pretty big boats through the bottom of it. The water level's up like 25, 30 feet. It was super high. Um, and as you can see, we're trying to reach under as far as we can into this bridge to try to get these crappie to come out of that shade. That's where they were sitting. They're sitting right on the shade line. We're trying to get them to come out into the sunlight just enough so that they can, uh, we can actually set the hook on these fish. Because if you reach under there too far, there's no way you can actually set the hook. That's a problem we were having. It's another good one. Boom, boom. Well, you got a video. Crappie for dinner. <laughs> Up and there he is. Got yeah. him that time. Please there be a crappie. Goes. Feels like one. Feels like no. Dang it! It's a white bass. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one though. They're all mixed up. There he is. Got him that time. About time. Yeah, baby. About time we got a crappie. Whew. First Oklahoma crappie. First Oklahoma crappie right there, ladies and gentlemen. It's a super soft bite. Uh, Paul's got, what do you got, four crappie? Four crappie? Yeah. Yeah, four crappie to my one. But this is a little small. It's a 10 inch limit, so this guy's going to go back, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This guy's going to go back, so. When I tell the story, I can. There he is. Follow him Big down. Yep. That's a good one. Well, ten and a half. Look bigger on the sonar. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, back to back. Get him. Yep. There he is. Oh, this is no, it's a white bass. White bass. What? It's a big, decent one too. Dang, that is a nice one. Good eating. That's good eater. Yep. Good, good eater. Dang, you got a players? Trying to pop it out like a bass would, but. I got it, I got it. Yeah. See, the hunk of these are like the Big. size of my thumb. Really? But you can't throw a damn thing, and they're limber. Oh, I think I think I got. Woo! We both caught it. We caught. That was a joint effort, ladies right and there. gentlemen. Keep swearing. There he is. Hey. Crappie. I feel like it yeah, is. He yeah. is. There we go. Yeah, buddy. That's a good one. That's a keeper. So after catching a few fish, we're definitely finding out that it wanted to light bite two live minnows are the ticket. Also raising it up above them, getting them, Ooh, trying to get them to slowly come up with it. Um, not so much a Man. chasing kind of that's super that, aggressive bite, down. but just enough to trigger Pull that kind out. of reaction strike. <laughs> this that guy's going cheap. back in the live well. They're not back in the live well, this guy's going in the live well. Hit him. There he is. Doubled up. There he is. Doubled up. <laughs> yes, Doubled sir. up on the that's crappie. A black crappie. You got a blackie there. Yeah. See, that's a nice size bite. He hammered, oh, he hammered it too. Yo, he really hammered it. Did he really? Yeah, he's got a gullet. Oh, there we go. There we go. Doubles. <laughs> Doubled up. Not bad. Live minnows. There he is. Yeah, that's a good one too. It's another good whoa, whoa. I don't want to step on your GoPro.
Got him. I kind of snagged him. Okay. Double check. This is a nice one. That's a really nice fish. There we go. That's a 12. I'll have to measure some of these when we get back. Yeah. There he is. Yep. That's a crappie too. There we go. Very nice. You're spoiling me. I don't think I'm gonna have this kind of bite up north. When I go back. Year round, man. It's, I'm telling you, it's crazy. Still on the right? Oh really? Oh, that's a little guy. That ain't the guy I want. Go for it. We heading back? Right on the drop. Okay. Right on the drop. It's a nice one too. There you go. I'm recording yet. Yeah. That's some big crappie. Mm-hmm. Thank you for this. Yeah, man. That's probably Very nice. That's a 12 inch fish probably. Oh, 11 yeah. and a half, 12. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you got him side hooked. Got two of them. Uh, oops. Oh, God dang it. Sorry about that. Wasn't paying attention. I was like, dude, that felt like... Get him. White bass. Oh, oh, get out of there. Get out of there. You got two, you got two on. <laughs> yeah. You pull back in your way. Well, that is going to wrap up the first video in Oklahoma series. Huge thank you again to Grand Lake guy, Paul Potter. Appreciate that. We caught a ton of fish. I got to lay them out on the dock. Um, basically, it was, it was kind of the opposite of what I normally do or what I think about doing is going from that dirty, that stained water to that clear water. I guess the entire species system just pushed underneath that bridge. I mean, we caught white bass, we caught crappie, we caught catfish. Um, it, one thing to note, the white bass were actually higher up in the water column, so we had to let those jigs drop below them and try to get it past them. Otherwise, you ended up catching white bass. So that was kind of one of the keys. Also, we switched to live minnows, the jigs. We caught a couple on jigs, but super sensitive bite, and then slowly raise that bait up the water column. That was super key to getting those crappie to strike. Once I finally figured that out, I started putting some in the boat. Thanks again to the Grand Lake guy, Paul Potter. I'm going to link his uh, social media. You can go follow him on Instagram right here. I have two, maybe three more videos coming out in this Oklahoma series, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, if you're new here, click that red subscribe button, click the bell. Bell's going to notify you every time I post a video. Oklahoma part two coming up next.